Okay, so this is how we're going to uh, set up y'all's workspace for this project uh, in Illustrator. And already I've transferred a few screen captures uh, into Illustrator. Uh, when you do, get, and I'm going to get one or two more just to show you the process, but once you do get them in here, uh, you got a couple of choices by how you can uh, choose to work with these. Uh, but one idea is to actually use your layers. Uh, the benefit of using your layers is going to be that the stuff that you put on different layers can be locked. And that way, uh, let's say all these elements right now are on layer one. And on my artboard, if I hit control minus, I can zoom back and see some other stuff in my workspace. Um, so let's say I want to put these elements, which I know I'm going to lock, on a different layer. So what I'm going to do is select them. Anytime you want to migrate stuff to a different layer, just select those elements, uh, cut them, command or control X, and then I'm going to make a new layer. And uh, there are two ways to do it. You can either put that layer beneath or on top of what you're going to work with. So let's say, oh, <clears throat> if I do control V, it's going to place those objects right in the center of my screen. But if I do control F, or B, it's going to place those objects exactly where I got them from, in front of for control F or behind for control V. So I'm just going to put them right back where I got them, but on a new layer. And again, the benefit of that is you always want to have a main working layer where you're going to actually do your work. But this layer, I can put those elements there and I can also lock them. And that way I can work right on top of them. Uh, so let's actually drag this underneath and that way I can work right on top of those elements without touching them but let me show you how to get some other elements in here from the video uh, this is blackboard and I went ahead instead of just watching it right inside a blackboard here and blackboards frozen uh, I actually opened the video directly up in YouTube went full screen with it yes 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 there's some action <laughs> okay so and it's a little bit tricky the way to do this on the PCs ordinarily you are gonna just do a control print screen but you have to do print screen control because if I hit the control button the full screen is going to go away. So that doesn't happen when I hit, hit print screen. So I'm, I'm holding down print screen and then I hit control. And of course I lose my full screen. I drop my uh, screen caps into Earthen View. On uh, the Max, you have to drop it into Preview. There's a software called Preview. And uh, so uh, I've got Earthen View open. So control V to paste. I get that image. In Earthen View, I do a selection of just the bit I want to take to Illustrator and Control C to copy and uh, go back to Illustrator. And again, I want to put that on this uh, working layer. That layer is currently locked, so I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to select that layer. You're always going to paste into the layer that is selected. So Control V to paste, and then I can position that however I want to position it. So uh, so do, um, you, know, uh, you know, if you have trouble screen capping those and getting them in, uh, then just let me know and I'll help you with that. But I'm going to lock those now. And then, like I said, uh, you know, either you can just focus on trying to get a, uh, just a silhouette of the figures here, because we can see this is such low res uh, information right here. It's not going to vectorize smoothly. You know, uh, low res stuff vectorizes poorly. So um, what we want to do is just trace around this uh, and let it be uh, subject matter as it is. And, and, you know, you guys can trace around these fine, you know, by yourself. But another option is you can do more of a uh, ergonomic study of uh, these figures. And uh, I'm going to suggest that. I, I think it can uh, be interesting visually to do actually an ergonomic study. Because, you know, so much about shoe wear now, you know, you get the ideas. Uh, do you remember the Skechers campaign, the energy return, the shoes that had the big round bottom on the bottom of them? And then they ran with that for a while, then they started getting sued and stuff, you know. 
saying that it doesn't literally do all this sorts of stuff. But a lot of shoe design and the way that shoes are marketed is about, you know, these shoes are going to make you be able to dunk basketballs, and, and that's just not true. But, but still, you know, we can uh, sort of look, uh, you know, ergonomically at, uh, you know, not just how we uh, walk, but how we sit. Uh, have you guys ever heard of tech neck? Have y'all heard of tech neck? You know, the fact of looking down at screens and stuff like this is disrupting blood flow to the brain and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it can be interesting in some ways if you, uh, you know, sort of pair some of those ideas with an ergonomic uh, sort of study of uh, these figures. And all it can be or uh, is just a, a basically a composition of... Um, you know, just how this figure is put together. You know, I could look at the uh, the areas that are going to be flexible. You know, then I can copy. I like to do quick copies with drag copy commands. I select an object, I hold down on it with my uh, uh, mouse, then I hold down the Alt button, and then I let go, and that lets me really quickly uh, copy an element. So again, if I wanted to do a drag uh, copy command on that object that I want to copy, it's selected, so I hold down on it, then I hold down my Alt button, then I just drag, and that's a real quick way to, uh, to get elements moving. Um, and once you have a few elements, you know, if we're, we're thinking of this as an ergonomic study, you know, I can uh, hold down Shift, and do a shift select of multiple objects. And then once I have all of those selected, I click and hold down on those elements. And again, hold down Alt. Then I can use this by scaling it to try to describe the leg or the upper part of the leg. Uh, and those colors are not as visible right now, so I could change the color of those. Uh, so that's a little bit more visible as I work on this. So uh, that visually can be one way that we can approach uh, building these figures that we're doing. Um, but again, um, the whole idea behind this is the brandscape, is this uh, uh, environment of uh, different um, logos and stuff that you put. But these figures are going to be central. So what are these figures doing? Where are they going? What are they thinking about? And uh, what are those? What, what are the shoes that they have on? So uh, in that way, you know, by doing these as just silhouette, uh, sort of ergonomic studies, you know, we can concentrate a little bit more on the shoes too. So, um, um, but again, you know, set your workspace up at a tabloid size, um, you know, uh, for today, just go ahead and try to concentrate on getting uh, um, at least four or five of those figures into this environment. And then also, if you want to, you can copy and paste some shoes in here. If you want to vectorize those, that's cool. And once you have them vectorized, you can then customize them. You know, I do want you to come up with some original footwear. On the whole, also, uh, you can think of this graphic uh, not just as an illustration, but also as an advertisement for your shoe brand. You know, so in a lot of ways also try to come up with your own personal sort of a, a shoe brand for this illustration too.